Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video on collections. In the previous video, we have seen how to basically initialize these different collections that is list, set and map. In this video, we will basically look into the concept of iterating over collections and we will start with something as simple as list. The most common way to iterate over a list or a collection is using a for loop. Uh, it is pretty simple. What you can do is for name in name list and then print ln the name. Name is basically the individual item in the array or the list here. So if I just run this, it is just going to print all the names. This is one way of doing it. Uh, and another way is using a for each predicate that is name list dot for each print ln it and if I just run this it is also going to give me the same value so it doesn't matter whether it is a list or mutable list I can just say let me create a set here and this would still work in exactly same way and if you had map it would be slightly different so let me just comment it out here let me create a map and I want to basically iterate over this. Once again, you can write for item in map city states and then print ln. You can write how do I access key value pair? It is basically item dot key item dot value. And now if I run this, you are going to basically print all the values. That is just a simple way of iteration. Or instead of doing this, you can just give the key value pairs directly here and just use it directly in the for loop body. And that is also going to give you the exact same behavior. There is no difference. And instead of using for loop, if you wanted to use for each predicate, you can still do the same. That is map of city states dot for each. You can use a lambda that is key value print ln key then value and if i run this you are going to basically get the same result or you can write item and then item dot key and item dot value and that is also going to give you the same result using for loop or for each predicate to iterate over collection is pretty easy. There is one more way using which you can iterate over collection that is using a concept of iterator and that's what we will right now look into. You can get a iterator object out of any collection and how do we get an iterator? It is something like val name iterator. It can be anything. I'm just calling it name iterator because I am dealing with name list here is equal to name list dot iterator and then what I can do is for name iterator now you can't use a for loop here you use a while loop while name iterator there are two methods here one is has next and next so has next basically tells whether there is a element in the list as you are iterating think of it like this you are basically trying to iterate over a list initially you are outside standing outside the list and if you try to print directly the first element you print the first element by using next let me show you here if i print name iterator dot next and run this it is going to basically print the first value and what exactly is happening is you are stepping into the first position of the list and when you do another next you go to the another next item and each next is basically going to put you into one position further and has next is going to basically tell you that whether you can go further or not let me show you if i write this next couple of times and run it it is basically going to give me three values that is Anil, Josh and Ashuni. That is basically these three values. And if I now say print a has next here, of course it is going to give me a true value because after this there is still one element. So I can just do two more nexts 
and if I just print this, it is going to print the remaining two elements. And now if I do this, it is going to tell me there are no more elements. It is false. And what you can also do is you can remove an element that is name iterator dot remove. So right now, after having gone through five next elements, right now I am at this position and remove basically removes this particular value. So let me just print this. You can see that now Zarin is not there. Let's assume that I had done this remove immediately after the first next. That basically means the George will get removed. Let us see whether that's exactly the case. No, the first one gets removed because the next the first next is basically stepping into the collection. That is why if I try to do this even before, it is going to give me a exception. You can see that illegal state exception. So you cannot remove immediately. You can remove only after you have stepped into the collection. Now also you might be wondering if you can remove, can you add? Of course you can't add with the set there is no other option but however with the list you can do that provided it is list iterator and with that you can add a element so let me add something like Gita here so if i run this let me comment out the remove part so that it becomes easy to understand so what it basically does is it adds ankita after the anil position it is Anil and George because you moved the first position that is you are after Anil and between this George and now at that position you are basically adding Ankita. That's how this thing works. Instead of doing all that I can just write a simple while loop that is while name iterator dot has next print name iterator dot next and that is going to exactly give me the same result now the next question is do i have something like this for the maps of course you have let us go through that so let me create a iterator for the map where iterator for city states and let me get a iterator out of it you can see that i get a iterator function it returns me an iterator and then for of course you can't use for it is always while iterator for city states dot has next print ln city states dot next just pay attention to what's happening now iterator next dot key here and then next dot value and now if i run this what do i get something is not right bangalore is not the capital of tamil nadu so what's happening because you wrote next twice it basically iterated twice you should not allow that to happen what is the perfect way of doing it is well item is equal to iterator city dot state dot next and then use item dot key that is more better way of doing this and if i run this this works perfectly fine so just be aware how iteration works with collections a simple for loop and for each is much easier way but sometimes you may have to use the iterator but in that case you need to be aware of how this thing works so that's it in this video in the next video we will explore other aspects of collections in a much more detailed manner that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye